Good evening, YouTube family and friends. Hello, how y'all doing? I hope everyone is fine and their Sunday is going great and y'all full of Sunday dinner. And now y'all here to watch me. Hello. Hi. Anyway, you guys, subscribe to my channel. And y'all like this uh, video, well, this story, y'all like this story, and y'all share this story, and y'all subscribe to my channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate y'all. But y'all like these videos, y'all like these stories, everything that I bring to y'all, y'all is true stories. True stories that you guys may need to know about especially young black women because that's basically what my uh, my stories and videos in this channel has been about because young black women is near dear to my heart because as I said I have two daughters and I have multiple nieces multiple nieces so as y'all probably heard or you probably have not heard, Deshina Cow's body has been found. She's been missing three months, y'all. And her body has finally been found. She was last seen uh, June, 20, June 18th. She was last seen June 18th. And then they said that she might was possible. They had a possible site in June 28th. Uh, but, no, June 23rd, June 23rd, um, they had a possible sighting. And then June 28th, they noticed that um, her car had not been moved. And her car had was in the same place. You know, they hadn't been hearing from her. Her car was in the same spot. And then they noticed that her dog was alone dog had not been fed you know hadn't been given no water and none of that kind of stuff so then you know that's when they put out a missing report for her and then her body was found on october the 6th deceased inside of a house um her boyfriend her well her ex-boyfriend john bassett at the time um doing her missing doing her I mean, he was never a person of interest i guess you know um but then i don't see how not because normally when people are missing you know those be the first people plus being that in along during their relationship their time together there have been multiple um police reports um for domestic violence between the two of them and this guy has a very long rap history, you know, um, with the police. You know, he's constantly in trouble. So, um, I don't know why he was really never a person of interest, but oh, God bless me. God bless me. Um, but during the time of her disappearance, he was locked up for a, a, a unrelated, a unrelated charge, not being towards Deshina, but he was arrested. So somewhere down that line, for him being arrested within the three months or whatever, with him being arrested, he, you know, um, he's a person of interest as of now. So. Now they're um, looking at him, you know. He's he's going to be charged with Deshina Cow's murder, which they should have been, had him a person of interest being that they've had multiple um, calls, you know, for domestic violence. But her body was found um, in a house where they had to come to before um, for him fighting her. So, and that's where uh, her body was found. In a house on, I forgot the name of the street that fast, y'all. Oh, my God, I didn't write it down either. But, anyway, let me let you guys um hear the story. A door 
authorities confirmed they found the body of Deshina Kyle at a house on Sam Tillery Road earlier this week. That 26-year-old from Knoxville has been missing since June. Police now label this case a homicide. Investigators named her ex-boyfriend as a person of interest. John Bassett was arrested in July in an unrelated case. At the moment, he isn't facing any charges tied to the death of Deshina Kyle. Her family is mourning the loss of that young woman. They are remembering her as funny, outgoing, and full of life. Family members told 10 News that Sheena loved the people closest to her and made a positive impression on everyone she met. Well, y'all, on that article, they're saying that he is not, but um, I read another one. I don't know where it's at. Well, they said that they are now looking at him as a person of interest, but we'll see, because I normally go back and see what the updates are, and then I'll, um, you know, bring the stories back to you guys. I was trying to see. I don't know where, where it's at this time. But yeah, y'all, but, oh, okay, let me show y'all a picture of Deshina. I almost forgot. Beautiful young lady. Beautiful young lady. That's Deshina Cow. Uh, her body was found October the 6th. She had been missing for three months. And now they found her deceased. And here is the ex-boyfriend, John Bassett. What? He just looked like hell, y'all. I don't know what these beautiful women be seeing in these crazy look. This dude look like he is about to go break in somebody damn house right now. Or look like he's about to go and murder someone. You know, um, I don't know why these pretty girls, almost all these girls that I've been doing a story on, they are so pretty. Looks are not everything. And I, looks are not everything. But just to even see some of these guys that they're dealing with, they just look scary. They look creepy. They look like they up to no good. What? I don't know what she's saying to him. But like I said, y'all better start getting to know these people's backgrounds before you go into a relationship with them. Know their background. Get to know them. Y'all, these men, a lot of these men around here, they got criminal records. You know, um, physical, physical abuse, you know what I'm saying? They domestic violent cases, you know, robbery and assault charges, you know what I'm saying? All of that kind of stuff like that. And all of that leads to domestic violence. All of it leads to domestic violence. Y'all women got to be careful around here who y'all sleeping with, who y'all getting in a relationship with. Y'all just learn these people background and on top of that ladies <laughs> i cannot stress it enough i'm going to say it on every video y'all get something to protect yourselves against these men out here get it get something to protect yourself for, for anybody but lately, it's just been men, y'all. Men murdering women and nine times out of ten, it's their boyfriends. It's their boyfriends are killing these women. Some men like that, men who don't have anything to lose, nothing to lose, they will kill your ass. Do you hear me? They have nothing to lose. Once they begin to feel unwanted by you, they do not care. You may be the only source of love that they had had or, or the only person who's shown them any type of love and once they get that love and you try to take it away once you get to know the real them then they don't want to let go they never felt that before so now they don't want to let it go so they're gonna kill your ass y'all stop getting involved with these crazy men Sometimes when women get involved with men that, you know, wants to mention, oh, I've been in jail, I've been in jail for this, that, that, some, that turns some women on. And that just says a lot about the woman itself, you know. 
They they think they got them a gangster. They think they got them a uh I'm just gonna leave that gangster. They think they got a thug, you know, a homeboy or whatever the case may be. And then he was also um arrested for drug related charges as well. That's a turn on for most young ladies around here. But ladies, we got to do better. We got to do better. I'm trying to raise the awareness of women to start protecting themselves by any means necessary, whatever force that it takes. Protect yourself. Y'all get in a relationship with these men. Y'all find out what these men' backgrounds are. And once you see the jail time, their choices stuff, back away. Back away before it get too deep. Because the longer you stay in a relationship, the deeper it get and the worse it get. So, that's all I, that's all I got to say. Ladies, I'm, I'm going to say this for every video that I make. About these missing women and women that are found deceased. Protect yourselves, young ladies. Protect yourselves. Mace, a gun first, gun. Take it everywhere you go. On dates with your boyfriends, whatever, because you don't know when the real him is going to come out. A gun, mace, box cutter, knives. Scissors, any damn thing. Keep on you. Protect yourselves. Tasers. Protect yourselves, ladies. Protect yourselves. These men are, they not right today. They not right. They don't mind hurting you. They don't mind killing you. They don't mind burying you without a funeral. Protect yourselves, ladies. Y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all like these stories. Y'all share these stories. Y'all have any um y'all have any comments? Comment down below. And I'll reply as soon as I see it. Y'all subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And I'll see y'all later with another video. Protect yourselves. Bye.